And one of the homes in the dark tonight is a farm in Raleigh, but the owner of that farm says she wants the power to stay off, at least for right now. Here's WREG's Ashley Paul to explain. Alpacas and llamas eating a mid afternoon snack just inches away from a downed power line. I'm concerned about their safety because they go to they go through. They have to go through the lines to get to the um, to their um, up to the shaded area. They have to go through the lines to get out to the pasture to graze on grass. Denise Voorhees can't get to her animals to feed them or give them water. Ever since Tuesday night's storm took down lines all over her property. She needs MLGW to come clean it up. I called them three times a day, like eight, 10 and four, like every day, like clockwork. Please come fix my power lines. Never came. And today, four days later, the lines are still not fixed. The power, though, did come back on Thursday in a moment Denise calls disastrous. The lights came on and I felt joy and then I felt terror because I was like, OK, the lights are on. That's wonderful. AC, yay. Something's about to blow up. Setting her horse trailer and her house on fire. Thankfully, the damage wasn't too bad, but she wants that power to stay off to save her family and her animals from more harm. I just want them to come out, get the wires up, get the pole up, and get everything fixed so I can take care of my animals. A tough situation there. That was Ashley Paul reporting for us tonight. And MLGW just told us a short time ago a crew is working on this issue.